Hey everybody, Drew here, and this is a first generation Mazda CX-5. They made these from 2012 to 2017, and this video is gonna address a very common and very annoying issue with them, and that is the complete failure of the cup holder. So what happens apparently, this uh, the part that your cup actually sits in, falls down into the inside. There's uh, little plastic like pins that go through a hole and then they're melted flat and uh, basically those break. And you could take this all apart and remelt them, you know, with like a heat gun or a soldering iron or, you know, plastic welding, whatever. Uh, but this video is just designed to show you how easy this is to change. I already started, so let me push that back down. There we go. So all you need to do to do this job is grab like here, right? Since it's already broken, you can use this as a handle. Pull up. So now, I'm gonna zoom out for you. So now that this is up, you're gonna see some wires underneath there. And those should be, uh, if you've ever worked on a car, these should be pretty obvious, but just in case, I'm gonna show you there are these little like um, tabs you have to push down. You see that right there where my thumb is? Pardon the baby powder in my hands, it's from wearing gloves. Um, use that to uh, basically unplug these and, um, let me see here, I'm gonna get this one for you so I can take this out and we can examine it. There we go. So obviously it's uh, it would be very expensive and just downright silly to replace all these electronics. So we're gonna move those from this cup holder to the new one. It's just a matter of Phillips head screws. Uh, check the link in the description for the Mazda part number. I think I paid like $38 off eBay to get this whole cup holder assembly, which just, it's so easy to replace. It's it's amazing. Uh, thank you Mazda for that. Um, but shame on you for not making it better the first time. But anyways, very easy job, super convenient. Um, so I'm gonna take the other one out of the box and uh, and show you what it takes to get those electronics switched over. So here's the new one, and I must say, you'd think that they would, you know, make a better design here, uh, but not, unfortunately. So if you're wondering why I don't just fix my old one and make it better, it's because, you know, we own a car dealership and, um, you know, I, I just want to make sure our customers have the best. So I don't want to fix a part and, you know, deal with the duct tape glue and all that when I could just give them a new one. So going to do that and, of course, you know, let them know, hey, this was an issue. If it happens again, reach out. Um, the other thing we're going to address at some point, this customer, or excuse me, the previous owner of this car glued these magnets around to compensate for the fact that this locking mechanism is broken. Check out another video for that because that's a common issue as well. The link will be in the description when the video is ready. So we're just going to take this and we're going to move the electronics to the new cup holder and put it back together. So the screws you need to worry about um, is just this one, this one, this one, and this one as well as, let me see here. Yes. So that guy, that guy, and that guy stay. So just one, two, three, four screws. Now that that's screwed back in, just those four screws, gonna plug in the wires. Now for reassembly, you just line everything up. There's these tabs, which I'm sure you see there. They'll be pretty obvious to you. Line those up and just push it. Let me see here, there we go. Push it down. Whoop, that one's not lined up. There we go. There's uh, one you gotta know about on the side here. So that's done. And what's really cool, I didn't even think about this, all those ugly glue marks are gone too. So this vehicle will present better on the lot. So again, we're gonna take care of that. It's gonna be a separate video. But um, this is probably the easiest job I can remember, and I do a lot of work. Um, all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver and just a tiny bit of trust in yourself. If you've never worked on a car before and you're watching this video, go in your kitchen, go in your junk drawer, get a Phillips head screwdriver. Doesn't even have to be fancy like mine, just has to be, you know, a decent size in the end. Can't be one of the super small ones for like putting a battery in a kid's toy. Um, and do this. It's super easy. The part number is, uh, that's K-A-O-G-64630A02. That'll also be in the, uh, the description. You get that right from Mazda or do yourself a favor, get it cheaper on eBay. And bam, we went from an ugly duct, uh, duct taped cup holder here with glue on it and just all nasty to brand new it's for like 38 bucks. So if this video is helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to the channel. We show you guys how to do stuff like this. That's pretty simple all the way up to big jobs that the dealership might charge $4,500 or $5,000 for. And we eliminate all the unnecessary steps. We show you the quickest, most effective and professional way to get stuff done while saving time and having the satisfaction of doing it yourself. So if that's something you're into, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, definitely like this video, share it with your friends that have a Mazda CX-5. And hey, God bless you. Take care.